in the house. Woo! Represent, Filipino represent, what's your name? Isabella. Huh? Isabella. Isabella. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. What's your name? Noel. Noel. So we have three Filipinos in the house. When I was growing up in Clinton, Maryland, a long, long time ago, there were no Filipino people. Filipino people were not invented at the time. It was so long ago, my family came into Clinton, Maryland on Cannonball. It was like the little meat pot on the prairie. And as soon as we moved into our new home, my mom, who was a nurse, a hypochondriac, someone who's afraid of germs, and she was very, very religious, very, very Catholic, she started making the sign of the cross with my soul. Oops! <laughs> My soul. I have two sisters named Faith and Charity. My name is Reggie. There is no hope in the family. And so my mom, being an immigrant, was very, very afraid of the whole neighborhood. She said, Reggie, why do you want to sleep over the neighbor's house there? Psst, come here. Reggie, why are you eating the neighbor's foods there? You don't look like our food, but it's wrong with you. Reggie, stop playing that video game all the time. Video game, video game. Reggie, why don't you practice your piano their songs? So Filipinos love piano, because it's like old-fashioned karaoke. And she'd say, Reggie, come on now. Play me the cats, the cats, the memory from the Broadway musical. Psst, come on. Your titas and titas are here to hear me sing. Psst. And I'd be like, okay, mom. Okay. Yeah. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. <laughs> My mom would sing that song off key while well, everybody applauded with a plate of fancy noodles on their lap, sipping Pepsi and calling her a Filipina Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Benilda Tobiko, you sound like Barbara Streisand. <laughs> really? You know why it is? It's because every time I play Barbara Streisand's records, her voice is flying out of the speakers, and her voice is traveling through my ears, and my feet become like Barbara Streisand, and my hands become like Barbara Streisand, and my eyes become like Barbara Streisand. And I could hear the wind of the beach of Barakai, Philippines, where the sand is like sugar, and the water is blue. Mm, memory. Like the corner of my <laughs> That's the way we are. At night, she would make me and my two younger sisters pray the rosary in front of a four-foot Mary statue. Reggie, you have to stay in all-boy Catholic school. But mom, I don't want to go to all-boy Catholic school. I want to go to performing arts school, the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. I watched all the gold, and I learned the latest dance moves, and I could see myself break dancing on top of lunch tables and taxi cabs in New York City. Reggie, New York City is so far and dangerous. Do not go to the Duke Electric School of the Arts. Why don't you stay here? Do not go away. You, 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 you will be a, you will be a doctor or you will be a lawyer. But mom, I want to be a performer. I know that I can make people laugh. I know that I can write, and I can be anything, and I can do anything, and I can be 
kind of me think is I feel what people are feeling, and I want people to see, well, my mom never let me go to the Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Instead, I went to Bishop McNamara High School, where for my senior year for drama class, the director said, I'm gonna give you the role of a lifetime. And he cast me in the show, Dracula. Oh, yeah. But I had no lines. And what's Dracula? Dracula only comes in for three scenes. I could be more than Dracula. And so, when I went to New York City for college, I realized that I was not Asian enough for the casting directors. They would stare at me and they say, hmm, do you know any jujitsu? Do you know any karate? As if this were jujitsu or karate. He said, no, but I can really act. And I didn't want to perform anymore. So I wrote my first poem. The government asks me to check one if I want money. I say, how could you ask me to be one race? I stand proudly before you, a fierce Filipino who knows how to belt hard gospel songs played to African drums in a Catholic mass, and loving the music the suffering beats and lashes from men's eyes in the capital streets. I have that jig with Jim Crow and shuffled my hips to the sound of guitar of Cotton and Hendrix. Waltz to dead zombies, skip the bamboo sticks, ballet kabuki and mild katakali, or in the da ramba and tapped in pan alley, and you want me to dance the Bhagavad Nagita on a box too small for a thambalina thin diva? I'll check other. And when I performed a poem at the New York Poets Cafe, people were crying and they gave me a standing ovation. And no one ever, ever did that for me. So I write poetry to tell my own story. I, tell, I write poetry to celebrate my family. I write poems so I can be me. Thank you. Oh, um, should I do what I told the Lord? Oh, when I say poetry, you say rocks. Poetry. Rocks.